Now here's the final result. Of, uh, I'm videoing this in between rainstorms as you can see it's pretty looks pretty violent out there but anyway it came up nicely all the insides finished and it looks apart put the new larger bung in the back and uh, just finished it all up so looks almost like a new boat there's a couple of rough edges on it still but I don't think it would have been much better when it was made brand new it was pretty roughly built by the looks of it um, I'm pretty happy with it and I'm sure my little neighbor's going to be happy with it as well just got to work on the trailer next he wants me to paint the trailer for him and but it needs a bit of modification up on the uh, winch post so I'll do that too but um, other than that I think he should be pretty happy with it all it all looks pretty good and uh, should last him for a few more years now oh, one thing I was going to tell you when I was doing those all those holes in the last video repairing them all what I do is um, I run a uh, the biggest drill bit I can find into say a four or six or a three mil hole that's been drilled in it that I want to fill and I use like a maybe a, a 12 or 13 mil or half inch of the Americans um, just to chamfer out the hole so that it gets a bit more of a hold when I use the fiberglass fill in there and uh, it seems to work really well the holes are basically invisible well they are invisible you can't see them anymore so that works pretty well and they, I've never had any pop out yet so it's all good nice misty Riviera blue over the white floco inside with the uh, Oxford blue flicked over the top looks great I'd be proud to own it now